and I don't have a jack so good topic here if you're out in the field cutting grass and your tire goes flat and you don't realize and it winds up coming off the coming off the rim what do you do what do you do I mean I don't have a jack but if you're out in the field and you don't have a jack what can you do so what I'm gonna do I'm going to use my little tree here, ratchet it up, get up off the ground, sling that, sl that cinder block underneath it, and uh, maybe we can take the tire off then. That worked. <clears throat> Got her off the ground just enough to take the tire off. So, if you're ever out cutting yard and you don't have a jack, you got a ratchet strap. Jack that sucker up, take the tire off. Boom. We don't need that anymore. All right, let's get some air in this tire. Luckily, we didn't have any issues getting it back on the bead. All I had to do was just kind of even that tire out with the with the bead and. It slung air right through it, so we are good. Got it aired up. So now that it's aired up, I'm gonna have to jack this thing up just a little bit more with the tree ratchet strap 5000 TM. So we'll get it jacked up a little bit more, get the tire thrown on there, and we will be good to go. Alright guys, we are back. We have got the tire back on. Got it all aired up. I've already put everything away from that, but got it aired up. 
matching PSI on both sides. Ran a little bit on the backyard here and it is good, but I haven't ran this thing in a while, so I wanted to let it run for about 20 or 30 minutes. So I ran it around just a little bit and I ran this one around. I'm not sure when the next time I'll be using this is. I know I have a leaf clean up, but I've been waiting for some gutters to get cleaned and for the leaves to dry up a little, little bit. We've had quite a bit of rain off and on, so not enough time for the leaves to dry up. And it is really hard to mulch up wet leaves so we're gonna give it a couple of days and maybe let the sun dry it up all right guys another thing i wanted to show you is my lights here that i've installed on the v-rad 2. Uh, i've had these on here since um uh, around the beginning of summer late spring early summer somewhere around there but i never did get a chance to show y'all what they are so what i did was i went to walmart and uh just kind of looking at light bars and stuff like that getting ideas in my head and i came across was these little led rock lights and they come in a pack of four and i put three on the skag so i had an extra one but i mean they are and this is just off the battery off that little battery pack there they are bright so what I did is I just kind of straight wired them I wired them to the battery here and I wired in a switch a little toggle switch right here so just click it on and you've got some bright lights those things are extremely bright and it was i think they were like the pack of four was like 20 and some change maybe 25 let's we'll say 25 at the least i put another 10 and wire and that would say 10 dollars so 35 dollars total but i bought some wire I had some electrical tape laying around, I bought the toggle switch, and I had some of these wire connectors laying around in the shed. So I just wired them all together, ran them to the battery, ran them to the switch, and easy lights. Now the, the Skag here already had, I think it's actually got another one somewhere, it's got a this material laid out over the top of it, but in the metal here, it's already got a ring drilled out and it's got another bigger ring I don't know if you can see the indention in the plastic material there but there's another one there and a smaller one here so I used one of the small ones and just put it right on went on super easy and presto we have lots so I re really haven't had the need to use them uh, this year but if you ever need them i mean they've they've come in handy for just kind of you know getting home late and unloading and leaving light in the shed but since i've bought a a light right here and this thing is pretty powerful um this thing lights up the shed pretty well but before that i, I had the lights on the mower and they work really well so we still got the board here. I'll probably have to. That was on the last one. What put you out? We'll have to put something else on there next time. What should we put? Leave me a comment. So as we're going into off season, we're just gonna kind of be doing some little stuff around the shed, and if we wind up getting some jobs, we'll of course we'll do that, whether it be mulch or trimming or something like that. Um, we'll try and get some some footage, anything that pops up. But if you're enjoying my videos, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and. 
Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see.